Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, just made it to the Selkath Courts after being accosted by a friend of Julie Bindo to ask if, I shouldn't say accosted, that seems uh, mean, um, begged, rather, uh, to help get her husband out of prison because apparently he's being accused of murder i should bring jolie back actually uh we were also talking to some mercenaries to find out why uh the sith and the republic are trying to recruit a whole bunch of mercenaries didn't really get an answer so here's hoping we eventually do uh in the meantime uh we're going to talk to the judges and see what we can do here Okay. If it weren't for the Republic, Manan would already be under Sith control. But we haven't heard one word of thanks from the Selkath. I wouldn't say that in front of the judges. That's probably going to be viewed badly. Manan should treat us Sith better. Their day of reckoning approaches. The Selkath have forgotten the lesson of Taurus. Perhaps we should remind them. Like, that was a legitimate threat? Did no one hear that? Did no one hear that? Like, that was a legitimate threat right in front of you. And no one? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay. All right. I am Judge Shelkar, ask, acting on behalf of the Selkath government of Manan. It is my task today to answer the needs of off-world citizens of both the Republic and the Sith Empire. If you have legitimate grievances with another party, then you should speak to me. You should first, however, consult with the Republic Embassy before pressing formal charges. Is there something you wish to bring to my attention? Uh, how did you know I was from the Republic? Your ship registry is originally from the Republic world of Transel. Therefore, you are a Republic citizen. Or are you saying you stole your ship? No! No! Perfectly legitimate side eyes everywhere i see is there more you need um what do you know about the young selkath who have been going missing the court is unaware of any missing beings reports should any substantial evidence come up in regards to such a disappearance you should file it with us and an investigation will be launched is there anything else you require uh, I'd like to investigate the murder case involving Sunri. That is acceptable, I believe. In Manan legal tradition, the defendant can have an arbiter who tries to prove his innocence in court. This arbiter is a neutral party that can investigate and present evidence in the trial, and argue on the defendant's behalf. As you are a Jedi, I believe you should fulfill this role adequately. I suppose you're Sunri's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. So be it. You are now appointed Arbiter in the case of Sunri versus the Sith Empire. Your name and position have been recorded in our files. I will now inform you of the pertinent facts in this case. You have a limited amount of time in which to investigate and organize a defense of your client, and I advise you to use it wisely. Sunri was seen leaving a hotel, leaving behind a dead Sith woman, Elasa Huros. He has been charged with murder and is being held in the Ato City prison facilities. Due to his crippled status, he is being kept in a solitary holding cell. Witnesses claim to have seen the killing and are being detained at the hotel in question pending the trial. The manager of the hotel has now been informed of your appointment. Alasso was found dead of a blaster wound with the incriminating Republic Medal clutched in her hand. This information has been uploaded to your data pad. It would be wise to reviews all, review all information before the trial starts. You may question Sunri or the witnesses. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked against Mr. Sunri. I believe it will take some doing to absolve him of guilt. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Yeah. You may also interview the judges here, including myself, to get an idea of the pertinent factors in this case. Since this is also your first case, and you are an off-worlder, I feel compelled to add good luck as my final message. Well, that was nice. Ah, the Arbiter. Since you have been permitted to defend Sunri against these accusations, I shall assist in how I can. What do you think of him? 
Sunri was a great warrior in his time. He fought for the Republic against the Sith aggression and proved valorous. I have great respect for his accomplishments and find it tragic that he finds himself in this current condition. If the Republic had more individuals like him right now, I do not believe the Sith would be so great a problem for your people. Is there any other way I can assist you? Is there anything you find suspicious about this case? I find it questionable that a man with such a reputable past as Sunri would murder a Sith woman, especially not from behind. But knowing the Sith, there was probably some deception involved. They seek to do the same thing to us here. There, have been much, there has been much pressure by the Sith on our government, and even on the judges themselves, to deliver a guilty verdict in this case. But the letter of the law is absolute, and we will not be compromised for Sith power gains. Is there anything else you need? What do you think of the Republic and the Sith? I find this great battle being waged across the galaxy both disturbing and, ultimately, tragic. For all its faults, your tottering Republic has benefited the vast majority of the galaxy for many millennia to see it fall into ruin in such a short time. I do not like the Sith. That I make no effort to hide. I will even admit that, given the option, I would rule that we should join the Republic. But I must remain impartial and rule on this case as the law requires. Do you have any additional questions? I think that covers everything. Is If there is anything else you require, feel free to inquire with me. I was trying to say, please feel free, and then I tried to get out of the please, and then just... Just fucked up from there. Anyway, uh, that's one judge basically on our side with Kota, with Dula. I shall answer questions pertaining to the case and those questions only. What do you think of Sunri? I find the idea that some half-human cripple could murder someone as obviously competent as a Sith Elasa questionable at best. A man who can barely walk killed a Sith warrior in her prime? Preposterous. But I wouldn't put it past the Republic to try and arrange such circumstances to see her dead. The Sith are much more straightforward about their intentions. Is that all? Oh, uh, wow. So you don't like the S Republic from the sound of it. But you also think the whole thing is a little bullshit. Okay. Well, you're at least honest on the uh, fact that the evidence seems a little too heavily stacked. There's, there's that. Is there anything suspicious about this case? I find it presumptuous to assume that the cripple Sunri could kill Elasa. Why do we keep saying that? I feel that there must have been another there who killed her. Perhaps one of the witnesses. I do not know the reason for the medal clutched in Elasa's hand either, but it may have been that she fought them off even as she died. I think this may be the work of some Republic conspiracy, and I am not afraid to say so. If the only means I have of hurting the Republic is through Sunri, then so be it. Is that all? Okay, you've proven your point that you don't like the Republic. And you would rather hurt them than help them. Okay. But you also still see that the whole thing looks like bullshit. And you think it's a Republic plot. Conspiracy theorist. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Anyway. Uh, what do you think of the Republic and the Sith Empire? I think the Republic is an institution in sore need of change. It has gone on too long and the Sith are the fresh wind of change blowing across the galaxy. I do not believe in the false stories of the evils of the Sith Empire. They are nothing compared to the oppression and stagnation that the Republic represents at its core. If I was given the power to decide, Manan would join the Sith forcing the Republic to accept the new face of the future. But, sadly, it would appear that I am wiser and more farsighted than my immediate superiors. I am relegated to civil judicial matters. I will judge this case, and I will find Sunri guilty as he is charged to be. So nice to meet an impartial judge for a change. Nice sarcasm. Impartiality is one thing. Blindness is another entirely. You said it, not I. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Do not bring frivolous topics to discuss. I deal only with trial information. So you hate the Republic, and you like the Sith, but you also believe that the evidence doesn't add up. Okay. 
So if I prove the evidence, he'll be on our side. The other guy's on our side regardless. So, Nalasheka. Nalashekan, rather. I suppose I must spend some time talking to you since you are here in an official capacity. What do you need? What do you think of Sunri? Sunri was a Republic soldier. A hero, even. Do you think his Republic masters would let someone so valuable go so easily? I think not. I think Sunri maintains his contacts with the Republic and seeks to escalate the situation here. Is there something else you require? Is there anything suspicious about this case? I find this case to be fairly straightforward. Sunri is from the Republic, Kalasa from the Sith. The Great Empires battling now live out their conflict through their minions, too. Is that all? Okay. You seem to just dislike the Republic a little bit. You don't seem to like the Sith, though. Yeah, I think you dislike the entire conflict. I do not buy into the Republic line that this is some epic battle of the good Republic against the evil Sith Empire. The Sith Empire is merely an expansionistic power, much like the Republic was early in its history. It is simply the turning of history, where the old is swept away by the better new. Is there anything intelligent you wish to know? Ah, uh, no. Then go and do not disturb me unless you have trial business to discuss. Okay, so slightly leans towards the Sith but at the same time is taking a historical view a little on it, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to take that, but he also seems to think it is pretty open and shut, which he might be the hardest to convince. Uh, Judge Josa. Since you have been designated arbiter in the Sunry case, I shall answer questions that you might have. What do you think of Sunri? Sunri is a former Republic officer who is highly regarded by your people. He is admired by your people here on Manan and even seems to maintain some sort of relations with them still. If he is as capable as some of the Republic citizens still believe him to be, he is certainly capable of actions that would result in this murder. Is there anything else you wish to ask in relation to this case? Is there anything suspicious, you think? Well, I have often wondered, if, if Sunri were so innocent, why was he seen fleeing the scene of the crime? Why would he have been running if he had not committed the crime himself, or was at least aware of what had occurred? This case seems fairly simple and obvious to me. You Republic types stick together, however, and I assume you will go to lengths to defend him. What else do you want to ask? What do you think of the Republic and Sith? Both empires are at fault for this current conflict. The Republic in the past for laying the foundations upon which the Sith Empire grew, and the Sith now, obviously, for starting the war. But no matter the wrongs that had been done in the past, the Sith now have no cause for renewing hostilities. It almost seems as if they just want to conquer anything, and everything. I believe the Republic has every right to defend itself and drive the Sith back where they came from. Unfortunately for them, and perhaps for us, it, they do not seem to be doing too good a job at it. Is there anything else you want to know? I think I'm good. Return if you have pertinent details about the case to discuss. So, this side seems uh, to regret that the war's happening. But one leans more towards the Sith and one leans towards the Republic. Um, it seems to be very slight, but they find the whole thing regrettable, but they think the case is pretty straightforward. This side heavily leans on one side or the other, uh, at least in sympathies for the Republic and the Sith, but they find the evidence a little lacking. And Shelkar, I'll talk to you real quick. As arbiter of the Sunri murder trial, you have the authority to question me on matters pertaining to this case. Um, I have questions about the trial. You have the right, arbiter, to ask me questions regarding the case. What do you think of Sunri? Sunri is known to us as a hero of the Republic in your perpetual conflicts with the Sith Empire. While he may have been severely injured in the line of duty, I personally hold him in quite high regard. Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? 
In no way does his disability hamper him, though. Rest assured that my personal regard for Sunri will not affect my judgment. While emotion may rule your Senate, the cold, hard hand of the law rules here on the knot. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Do you find anything suspicious about the case? Yes, there is something that has been bothering me. The medal that was found clutched in the Sith's hand. I find it most odd that such a blatantly incriminating piece of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. We have analyzed the evidence and it does not appear to be a replica, but I still have my doubts. In the midst of the crime, though, Sunri could well have lost it. I have seen much more improbable things happen in my tenure to the courts. Mm. Simply because it was real does not mean Sunri would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. Is there another matter you wish to inquire about? Uh, what do you think of the Republic and the Sith? The governing bodies of both states seek to keep an amicable relationship with our world in order to facilitate the exporting of Kulto. Busting out the five dollar word right now. I do not delude myself into thinking that either of your states hold any great love for us, but we are necessary, so you will let us hold our autonomy. I try not to concern myself with intergalactic policy. I find it stretches the letter of the law too much for my tastes. Is there something else that concerns you? So he's very much bureaucrat by the books, and while he does think Sunri is, you know, a pretty good guy, he doesn't think that he would be unable to do the crime, and he thinks that at least one piece of evidence is rather blatantly put in there, but at the same time, it's hard to dispute that it's fake when it seems real. I have no more questions for now. Very well. When you feel you have gathered enough evidence, you may speak to the warden in charge of the prison where Sunri is being held. You will bring Sunri to us and the trial will commence. Fair enough. There we go. And I think the prison is over here? Yeah, just past Delora. Selkath guard. You may come and go as you please, Arbiter. You will find the door unlocked. If you wish to begin your trial, you must make the request with the warden. It shall then be passed on to the judges. Fair enough. Sunri, let's talk to you. Jolie, what are you doing here? Alora sent me, Sunri. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Okay. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the noises. evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the Soulcast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Okay, let's go over the evidence, since we're talking about that. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh... Uh-huh. I was working with Republic Intelligence. Oh. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alasa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Mm. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and... Had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, mm -hmm. the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can mm -hmm. see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Okay, fair enough. 
So, yeah, a lot of the evidence is a little shaky, I'll admit. Um, any ideas where I should look to investigate more? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Shellcath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offloaders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I, I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Mm. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. That is an idea. And I probably do have to go into the Sith Embassy at some point. Uh, there's a few things we should clear up, though. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. And <laughs> nothing but time. The judges said that you left after the shot was fired. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. They... A couple of them did admit that. Okay. I'll be going now. Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. That Once there you've is. gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Okay. Sounds good to me. Who's this prisoner? Huh? When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! Be quiet, off-world scum. Okay, this guy is going a little wackadoodle. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to Alora real quick. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunra's trial. Jolie, you're in the way. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Uh. Can you tell me anything about Sunri? Sunri is. He's a cripple. Why do we keep using that word? There's no way he could have overpowered Why do we keep using this word? Like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Are you saying someone your age couldn't overpower a woman? I'm a Jedi. And one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Mm -hmm. I'll save him. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Okay. Well then. Elora professes Sunri's innocence. She claims that this is some sort of frame up by someone who wants to get him revenge on him. Sunri was an old war hero against the Sith, so they might harbor him ill. Sunri claims that he's been set up by someone to take the fall. He claims that he was secretly trying to turn her into a double agent for the Republic, and that the Sith most likely killed her as a result of that. Hmm. I have spoken to the judges in the court, and they have consented to appointing me arbiter in the case. As arbiter, I will defend the client to the best of my ability before the judges. I've given the info as follows. Sunri was seen leaving the scene of the murder after a blaster shot was heard. Sunri was, has noticeable crippling injuries, I keep using that word, from his past experience as a war hero against the Sith, so it was definitely him. This is testified to by the proprietor of the hotel where this occurred, Ignis. In the room that he had rented, a Sith woman, Alasa, was found dead, clutching a Republic War Medal in her hand. There were two witnesses besides the hotel owner. One is Glupor, a Rodian who was staying in the next room. The other is Firith May, a gambler who was already also staying nearby. Their stories seem to corroborate Ignis's. Okay. And I guess I need to go to that hotel. And where is that? I... Don't know. So I guess we're going to be going back the way we came. I 
or maybe I do know and I just forgot. I probably forgot. Um, so we'll, we'll have to go to East Central. Alrighty. This is going to take a while, but it's fine. So, the evidence... Okay, now I have to wait for the rest of them to come over. Damn it, Jolie. You're the one holding this up. There you are. The evidence does seem a little stacked in ways that don't make sense. And it seems like we have judges on either corner of the aisle... But some of them think the case is straightforward, while the others do not. So, whoops, I keep hitting that button when I mean to do the map. Visitor's Hotel. Oh, that's where the hotel is. Okay. So this way I go. And then the middle guy is a bureaucrat who will follow the law to the letter. And is this... That's what I thought. That's a Republic enclave. Alrighty. Well, first we'll talk to the hotel people. Hey, Ignis. You are the one defending Sunry now, huh? <laughs> well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Kinda, yeah. Tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room <laughs> in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple. Why do we keep using that word? Pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Could it have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. Just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. You could testify it happened after he left. No. No way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. I have no interest in going to prison. Freezing, but okay. Uh, I'm not going to pay him money to do it. That's, that's shitty. Okay, fair enough. Let's ask something else. What do you else. want to know? What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Aha. Uh -huh. So you think they were doing uh, winky doinky doinky doinky? Okay, uh. <laughs> why am I the way I am? Okay. <laughs> Who are the witnesses? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems mm -hmm. like a really dirty, shifty type. Okay. Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. Right. But there weren't many people here. So I decided to take a chance. The mm. other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Feareth Me, player. okay. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know okay. anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? Okay. I have no more questions. Well, okay. If you need anything else, I'm going to be right here. Fair enough. And Ignis is the proprietor of the hotel that the murder occurred at. He told you that he heard the blaster shot go off, then saw Sunri hobbling away from the scene of the crime. But doesn't seem to think too strongly that it was after the shot. But at the same time, he won't also say that to the courts. So, oh well. It is what it is. I think that's the room itself. This is... Oh, hey. I'll take that. Fear with me. You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. Okay, let's not be racist. From me. What do you know about Sunri and Alasa? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alasa's room always, of course. Kept the mm -hmm. rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. Uh... Kept the rest of the building up? 
So you mean Sunri was having a relationship with Elasa? I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room in private is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master. Oh, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. What did you see? I didn't see anything, and there's no way you can make me say otherwise. Now quit asking. You know you want to tell me. You know, I think I could trust you. Mm -hmm. Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, Thank you. One time, I saw Alassa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. Mm -hmm. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. Mm -hmm. And seeing as how Alassa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Uh -huh 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 -huh. She was a dark Jedi. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now, that's all okay. I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Oh, come on! Why did I get dark side points for that? If I won the persuade, I probably would have gotten light side points. God damn it. What? Johnny, you're in my way. Girl. Now you're all in my way. God damn it. Oh, come on. Yes. What? Alright, now I can fucking. <laughs> Just had to do fucking shenanigans. Can I? Am I allowed? I don't know. I guess kind of allowed? That's probably not a good idea, though. I'm probably gonna get yelled at. Glupor! You here with Selkath? You have questions for Glupor? Glupor already say everything he knows. Uh, do you know about the Selkath youths who have gone missing? Glupor heard of it, yes. But Glupor has been locked in this room for days. Glupor think it rather poor insight to think he knows something. Fair enough. Fair enough. I just figured I'd ask. I have questions about the murder. Lupor tell everything to Selkath. You not know? Lupor have no reason not to say. Lupor tell everything. Everything about murder. Everything about Sith Lady's room. Why were you at the hotel? Lupor staying at hotel. Lupor not very rich. Hotel much too rich for Lupor to live at. But Lupor stay for weeks and have enough to stay here for a few days. Using Lupor's chance to live better for a while. What did you see? Lupor not see murder. Oh no. Lupor did see Republic guy. The <laughs> Sunri, his name. Think Lupor thinks. Lupor think see Sunri running away from scene of crime. Lupor see nothing else. Nothing else at all. Especially not in Sith Lady's room. What about the Lassa's room? Lupor just curious. Just curious to see what had happened. Lupor have no reason to go into room. No one paid Lupor to do it. Did someone pay you to do something in that room? How do you know someone paid Lupor? So you just said it. Well, Sith man came up to Lupor after murder, before Selkath arrived. He said he'd give Lupor, give Lupor good money if Lupor put money in Sith hand, metal in Sith hands. Lupor good. Lupor plant evidence and leave no trace. But Lupor not recognize Sith man anyway. Lupor not recognize humans very well. No use to Selkath, so not bother to tell them. Well, that and Sith man say he killed Lupor if Lupor speaks. Uh, oh no. Lupor think, Lupor think he can't talk no more right now. Lupor feels the need to lie down. Maybe just stay here. Mm -hmm. Well, Lupor confessed to planting the metal as evidence. Seems the Sith are indeed trying to point the blame at Sunri. Firith told you he once brushed up against Alassa and her cloak fell open to reveal that she was carrying a lightsaber, the mark of a Jedi. It would seem that Alassa may have been a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. And you've heard rumors that Sunri may have been cheating on his wife. Perhaps you should ask Alora about this. 
<laughs> Mysterious you man, huh? Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunry murder trial, are you not? Mm-hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. You don't say. Many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? I think so. Kinda. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. They just give it to me. No, no of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? No. You have to be devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi. And you may yet find the truths in this murder. Okay. Well, lucky for me, the Sith em the <laughs> Sith Embassy is all the way on the other side of the map. Well, I shouldn't say other side; it's past the east courtyard. But uh, the Republic one is right here. Hey, hey! Can talk to these guys. Roland Wan. Welcome to Manon. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Oh yeah? Why are your soldiers loading so much Kulto? Kulto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kulto becomes even more valuable. Well, as long yeah. as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kulto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. True. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith and our Kulto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Oh, yeah? I'm also investigating the Sunri case. I don't know much about the facts of the case, but I find it hard to believe. I never met Sunri, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. Mm -hmm. The Sith must have plotted Sunri's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. Any chance the Republic is involved? The Republic? Well, that makes no sense. Sunri has no enemies in the Republic, and his conviction will make all of our jobs more difficult. If you want to solve this mess, I would focus on the Sith. That or check out the murder scene at the hotel. Talk to the other guests. Maybe they know something. I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? Um, I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help me with it. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Eh, don't be so sure about that. I seek a star map, the remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Come on, tell me. No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. What do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Faraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Uh, what is this recording? It's intelligence information about Sith activities on Manon, as well as some oceanographic reports on the local marine life. Where is the droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How do I get into the base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you. 
although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. Mm -hmm. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Okay. Is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The mm -hmm. encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if mm. you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Okay. Decrypting the pass card. Is there another way? The Sith have got the Seldcath to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself mm. is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? I think I'll try to decrypt the pass card. Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish Maybe. you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. That would be very nice. And if all else fails, I'll get uh, I'll get mission to be part of it if I have to. You've spoken to Roland Wan, the representative of the Republic Embassy on Manan. He says that he may have information about the star map, but will only tell you what he knows if you retrieve the remains of a Republic probe droid lost recently to the Sith. The droid has sensitive in data recordings of its mission outside of Ato City, and the Republic wants it back before the Sith are able to decrypt it. To do this, you will need to enter the Sith Embassy. He has said that there are three ways to get into the Sith base. You can interrogate the Sith prisoner, the prisoner who was found snooping around the Republic Embassy. He knows a passcode that allows him entry to the Sith base. You can decrypt some captured Sith pass cards and use them to open the door to the base. You can use the key Roland gave you and force your way into the Sith-controlled hangar and fly outside of Ato City into the Embassy through the rear entrance. The hangar is located at the west end of the Ato City docking bay. Once you have entered the Sith base, retrieve the data module and return it to Roland. And he also indicated that there's uh, possibly a way to get to the star map, but it requires me to do this mission first. Okay. I'm assuming this guy's a Sith Prince's prisoner, and this is Lorgal. Hello, Lorgal. How you doing? Yes, human, have you come to sneer and jeer at like the others? Come to see Lorgal, the great liberator, caged like an animal. Liberator, you're nothing but a murderer. Kill a million people with a mighty star cruiser and you are a war hero. Kill a hundred with a thermal detonator and you are a terrorist. It's not the same! You kill civilians and children! You are obviously blind to the Republic chains shackled around your neck. You cannot see me for the hero I am. You think I am nothing but a criminal who deserves death. There are many who want me dead, including the guards in this room. But the Republic doesn't kill prisoners without a trial. This is why I'm protected. This energy cage keeps me safe from blaster and blade. The Republic will keep me alive for transfer to Coruscant, and then all the galaxy will witness my trial. You cannot touch me in here, human. No conventional weapon can penetrate this cage. Nothing can stop me from spreading my manifesto during my trial. I've got better things to do than argue with prisoners. Yes, leave me. You are a tool for the Republic. A slave who cannot even see your own chains. But do not fear. Someday I, or someone like me, will destroy the Republic and free you all. Right. About that. Doing the thing to him. I shouldn't have people around me. But Sith prisoner. The intelligence so, officer. you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. Yep. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. I mean, He's if I have Sith to. spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. 
Mm -hmm. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. Gotcha. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Right. Okay. What did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine oh. this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Yeah, let's try well, it. The training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. Uh -huh. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also mm -hmm. seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this mm -hmm. in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What do I have to work with? What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If okay. you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. I'm detecting a pattern here. It causes short-term memory loss. Mm. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Wow. Okay. Balancing act. Gotcha. Yes. Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Ugh. Interrogate him. What do you want? Okay. Relax, I'm not here to threaten you. You're not? <laughs> you... lies. You work for the Republic. We're the only ones who will take you in now. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. But they... they wouldn't. Would they? If you talk, we can make it worth your while. Ha! <laughs> worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Please. Please don't hurt me. Let's try something else. Uh, what do you want? We know about your companion. What? What companion? Hmm. Perhaps we would give you back to the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily. But they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. Uh, no. Never. Damn. You blanked out. Hmm. Inject him with the neutralizing agent and start over with a new dose. Uh, what? What do you... Relax, I'm not here to threaten You're you. Not. The Sith will never trust you. Okay. okay. Go through all of this again. There's yep. nothing you can do to me, Jedi, that this Let's try something else. Maybe we should do something about Tila. Tila? How did you find out about her? We could make life easy for both of you here in the Republic. Damn. You blanked. Damn it. Interrogate him. What? I'm not here to threaten you. We're the only ones who can take you in now. The Sith will never try. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, what do you... uh, maybe we should do. Maybe we should do something about Tila. Tila. We could make life easy for both of you here in the Republic. You think bribes will work? You must be dumber than I. Talk or something may happen to her. No, please don't hurt her. Please. We have her already. She may be spared if you talk. Damn, you blank. Jesus. Uh, Come on. You're not. The Sith will never trust you. Never. If we talk, we can make it worth your while. <laughs> Word. Let's try uh, something else. What do you Maybe we should do something about Tila. 
You think bright? Talk or something no, may happen please. to her. We have her already. She may be spared if you talk. No, damn. You blank. Come on, this is just bashing my head against a wall. All right, interrogate him. What? Relax, I'm not here to threaten you. The Sith will never trust. Him. Never. Okay. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. There's nothing you can. Okay. Let's try something else. Got your companion. Uh, we don't really need you. Your companion will tell us what we need to know anyway. Gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. He wouldn't talk, or has he already? No. Okay. Perhaps we would give you back to the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never. The Sith are not that easy to fool. Mm. We would see through your petty deceptions and destroy you for the way you try to humiliate us. Right. If you don't tell us, he will suffer. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We Sith are stronger than you give us credit for. Let's try something right. else. Let's talk about Tila. Uh, we could make life easy for both of you. No. Damn. Uh, ah. Interrogate him. What I'm not here to threaten you. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. Let's try something else. You know about your companion. Don't really need you. Tell us he will suffer. Perhaps we will give you back to the Sith to keep him. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. Let's try something else. Uh, Tila. Talk or something may happen to her. Damn. What the fuck? Okay, I get like two failures and then I go right back to the start. Okay. Let's interrogate him. I'm not here to threaten you. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. Don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Okay, you... yeah, that, that was a failure. Uh, I knew that was going to be a failure. Um, we know about your companion. Perhaps we would give you back to the Sith, but keep him. They would never... You can't do this to... Yeah, we can. Uh, and then maybe we'll do something about Tila. We already have her. She may be spared if you talk. Damn. Come on. <laughs> This is some shenanigans. Not. Make it worth you your while. Think me weak enough to get Come on. The Sith will never trust you. Never. Okay. There's nothing you can. Let's try something right. else. All of those failed. All right. What? what? Don't really need you. The Sith worm. If you don't tell us, you will suffer. You Perhaps we will give you back to the Sith. Of course, they would never. You can't do this to me. Oh, I can, and I will. What? Your... All right, let's talk about Tila. Talk or something may happen to her. Damn, you blanked out. Okay. <clears throat> Not here to threaten you. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Come on. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. All of them are failing? Yeah, they would. We know about your companion. Maybe if we give you, we'll give you back to the Sith, but keep him. Of course, they would never. You can't do this. Oh, I can. Uh, All right, and Tila. We can make life easy for both of you here in the Republic. You think bribe? Uh. Damn. You blank. God damn it! Every time. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking to him for Giving now. up so soon? I think he could last a bit longer. Come back if you want to try to break him again. Yeah. He's not going anywhere for a long time. Oh, I know. Okay, I wasted too much time on this. I need to end the episode, so we'll try this again <laughs> next time.
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to break a prisoner uh, from the Sith who is really testing my patience with everything and uh, also trying to do a whole bunch of other missions for uh, the Republic, including trying to free Sunri from a murder case that seems heavily stacked against him, and uh, other things as well. I forget, because that last quest is just driving me up a fucking wall. My brain is unable to focus on everything else I'm supposed to be doing for you.